Okay, so today we'll be doing a henna treatment. Um, I am going to be using mahogany and the black, natural black. And since my hair is mid back, then I'm going to, I'm using the two packs. And then I have a bow here along with a whisk. And then I'm also using my nice little teapot here for my hot water. And then we'll be using the tea tree mint shampoo. Okay, so when you open up the pack, this is what it looks like. And you have like an instruction packet that comes inside. It is the natural black. This is how it looks like this little indigo color. And then this is how the mahogany looks. So I'm pretty interested to see how it's going to come out. Okay, so this is the instruction pack. Um, I guess this is part of the cap. Yep, I guess this is the cap that they said was in here. So that's the cap and some gloves. Okay. All right, so that's everything that comes in the individual pack. And I'll put a link in the description box um, of where I ordered this from. I got it off of Amazon. And I am going to put some olive oil in here in case I forget to show it. I am going to add some olive oil in here once I start mixing it. Okay, and then this is the mahogany. All its little inserts. And I'm going to press my little tea kettle again and let it get back to boiling so that my water is good and hot. Okay, so now I'm just <coughs> incorporating my hot water and I'm doing it just a little at a time so that I don't get it too thin. I've been using henna for about probably the last four years of my natural hair journey. And I've not had an issue with it. I didn't like the first brand that I was using. So I think you do have to be careful to make sure that you're getting a good quality henna. hundred percent natural okay 
Okay, so this is the consistency that I have. It looks like a pudding. And then I still have to put my olive oil in it so that I'll loosen it up just a little bit more. So that is the henna. Okay, so, anywho, um, I did use a cotton t-shirt to dry my hair. Um, I did, at one point, use towels, and then I found that I would find my little curls stuck to the ends of the towel. So, do be mindful that, that a cotton towel does work better, especially for my type of hair, because my ends are so poorly. So, um, here I am applying the henna. And I do use an applicator brush. I do find that it works better and it is a lot less messy. So the applicator brush is a wise idea when applying henna. And I did get this little brush from Sally's Beauty Supply. So as you can tell, my hair is very tangled. Um, it's dry. It was in need of a henna treatment. And so that was one of the reasons why I did this treatment in particular. Um, I do use henna for the color because I do have some areas of gray, but um, this particular application is not for that because with this brand that I'm using now, I find that the henna does last longer, and so I didn't need you know to reapply my color necessarily. Um, I did want to darken my hair up, which is why I'm using the black with the mahogany. Because the last time I did a hidden treatment, I tried to lighten it, and I didn't really like it. So, I'm going back dark. So, that's basically why I am using the black mixed with the mahogany this time. <clears throat> and the brand that I did use before, I didn't care much for it. If you'd like to know about that brand, I will put their names on... Um, video or a future video but anywho this brand that I'm using now I do like a lot better um, I have like I said I don't have to use the treatments as often um, which I think is better like before those treatments my hair was like I was needing color again like in a few months and I'd be like what but with this color I've noticed that it's not like that so I do prefer this brand And like I mentioned earlier, I did add about a third of a cup of olive oil to my henna mixture. And that's what I do all the time, just to have that added uh, moisture to my hair because I do need it. So I did add the uh, olive oil to this mixture prior to the final. <clears throat> and I do smooth in my henna pretty well because I do find that it's more effective that way. Um, and it does stretch, stretch my hair and I feel like it aids in the de detangling process. Uh, so I do, you'll see my hair stretch as I work my henna into my hair. So that to me is a wise way to use it. And I do make sure I put a generous amount on my ends because my ends are extremely dry. So I do have to make sure that I show them extra TLC. So now I did switch my gloves. Um, since I have the extra packs, I figured why not use these gloves rather than let them go to waste. And because I hated having all of that henna all over my hands. So I did change my gloves and got rid of that nasty towel around my neck. <laughs> Usually when I get to the front, it's a lot easier to deal with. So I find that it's less messy once I get to the front. And because my hair is a lot easier to work with. Um, because like I said, the back of my hair is where I have the most of my tangles. So 
So now <clears throat> I will go ahead and let you know that um, I am going to wash this out in the shower, which you guys will not see. So um, when I wash it out, at that point you only use conditioner. So I will be using um, my Garnier Sleek and Shine conditioner, and I, I like that conditioner. Um, that's one of my um, just around. That that's one of the ones that has to be around. You know, that's one of my go-to brands. So that one's the one used because it does add a lot, a lot of soot to your hair, and I do prefer that brand. So I'm just doing like my conditioning around the house, just like my co wash and stuff. <clears throat> so um, I will condition my hair in the shower, and basically my technique for washing out the henna is I leave my hair in my sections and. I rinse out the henna per section, apply conditioner, let the conditioner sit as I go around my head, come back, <laughs> add the conditioner, I mean, uh, work the conditioner into my scalp to kind of loosen up the rest of that henna, rinse that out, and then I will um, detangle on the final round with conditioner. And I use my detangle brush, which I will also show you guys. So I put my plastic cap on and I let the henna sit for two hours and then I wash it out, which is what you see now. And you will see that my hair is a lot, man, it's a lot more manageable than what it was. It is detangled and my curls are more vibrant. So. It has a lot of spring to it. It's very soft. It's very moisturized. I am very happy with my treatment. Can't really tell as far as the color at this point, but I am very satisfied with how. So there's the conditioner and there's my detangle brush. Thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>